Lee Fury. Number seven, Jamie Edwards. Number eight, Danny Wilkins. Number nine, Sergio Gonzalez. Number ten, Ross Stenner. Number six, Laurel Mendy. Number seven, Neil Kennedy. Number eight, Neil Gang. Dans and now Duffy first time switch out to James Berry good chest from him advancing on the area as Berry goes past two challenges and then the third which was from Pew upends him today and it looks like James Berry will take a shot on target here he is Berry over the wall and it's just wide of the post from Berry the goalkeeper Thompson waved it wide quite early on not just quite enough whip on that one from from Berry to deal with the runners, I'm talking about runners. Yes, it's out to Kengney, great ball from Duffy, onto the right-hand side, Hansen on the overlap. Hansen will get there first, chance to cross, he stands it up to the back post and it's too far, just too far for James Berry. Okay, just stuff here is Duffy has options, plays easy pass to Fensum. At the moment we've got Dans and Curran in centre-forward positions, Kengney is well in field from the right, just making clear though, I think. Now it's Berry who picks it up in a central area, 45 yards out, all very tight. Good one two between he and Kengney. Berry now skips past one man, into the area, and James Berry! Two pokes one under the goalkeeper, Thompson, to give Mark an excellent lead. What a fantastic little dribble at pace. James Berry from the edge of the area, three or four defenders round him, managed to keep control, out came the keeper, and he... Tickles it past him into the net, and wow, excellent individual goal. Certainly was, yeah. Kudos to Kengney as well in the build up to that one because he took up the position as almost a centre forward, played the 1 2 with Berry. Berry, I think the secret again was arriving to it at pace. Clitheroe were really worried about dangling a leg out there. In the end, they kind of waved him through. But well, yeah. It was a superb finish, wasn't it, under Thompson? It was, and I mean, it was just a control with three people around him. You're quite right. It looked like it was going to be a penalty. but It's a long ball that just held up inside the area. It's now back into Curran. Twisting and turning on the left-hand side of the box. Curran, left footed pull back towards Kengney, and the ball eventually goes behind. Is it the game that they beat Matlock and got promoted? As Dans goes along, looking for Kengney. Should be seen back to the goalkeeper by Sloan. The goalkeeper didn't help him out much there. And... Uh, the referee's given a foul against Kengney for jumping into the goalkeeper, Thompson. Now into Kengney, good one-two. Dans and Curran, good play. It falls to Dans in the box, does it? No. Dans, though, goes into the challenge. And he seems to have hurt his ankle there. He went into the challenge with Pew inside the area. Yeah, that uh, very quickly he went down. I mean, he was trying to go through two players because he can't put any weight on that left ankle yeah, let's, uh, let's, hope, let's hope that's just a sprain of some kind because uh, let's hope so not a break no because, ligaments or anything like that yeah but he knew straight away position he's got Barry outside him he needs him he's going to chip it into the box to the edge of Gengi and Gengi quite unnecessarily pushed over I mean he was just moving slightly away from goal just outside the penalty area and the defender just went into the back of him and forward as soon as the referee's back is turned here comes Duffy right footed hits it short Berry cross goal and scores oh beautifully worked free kick fooled me fooled the defence and uh, James Berry gets his second goal of the game and it's Macclesfield 2 Clitheroe 0 and Mark Duffy he ran up to hit the ball squared it to totally unmark James Berry who was in the left side of the penalty area had time to polish the ball and then steer it past uh, keeper Thompson into the far corner Indeed. how simple was that it was he made it look very simple there uh, Nicky Maynard as well did well to kind of step over the ball and allow it into the path of James Berry Lee comes in picks it up 
And goes to uh, Fenson, who goes a long one looking for Gengi. Good control by him. Oh, brilliant control into the edge of the area. Can he find a back player? Yeah. Yes, he can. Macclesfield three, Cliveroe nil. Wonderful skills by Gengi. And a goal for Nicky Maynard. Nicky Maynard. Uh, he must have been a yard out when he hit that in because Gengi thumped the ball across. One, it went last one Mac player. There was Nicky Maynard for his first goal of the season at the far post. What great control by Neil Gengi. It was, yeah. Was it Benson who found him? Did the the long ball it looked again like he'd just shown a little bit too much of it to Sloan but once he had it under control Breeze passed him and then a forwards dream of a pass across the six yard box goalkeeper couldn't come and get it defenders were terrified of putting it in their own net and the man in the right place was Nicky Maynard at the far post one of the easier goals he will score this season very positive to see him making those runs early on into those dangerous areas now yes. we can see him grimacing I it's just not worth risking. You've got Grimshaw. As Mendy plays a long ball looking for Maynard. It's seen back to the goalkeeper in the end by Cummings. Good of you listening, but they're also available on Monday from 5 till 7 in bar 27. Be good to see. A good following as Matt break down their right with Pemberton. His cutback is half blocked and then the clearance is uh, blocked inside the area. Eventually, Clitheroe managed to smuggle it up to halfway where a heavy challenge there by Webb Foster on Lee. Lee stoops with his head. Webb Foster with the shin just caught him. Nothing too much in it. There's certainly no malice from Webb Foster. Now, central area, 50 yards out. Plays it into Curran. Chance on the edge of the area. Curran slips it back. Maynard on the move. Good save there by Thompson. And behind for the corner. And that was all very easy for Mac, wasn't it? Legs in the pre-season. Certainly have, yeah, as... Uh, Curran picks it up, popping up on the left wing now, trying to take on Cummings. Gets to the byline, pulls one across, and it's steered behind by Maynard. I thought it might have come off cue there, but in the end, the final touch off Maynard. 60, 67 and a half minutes gone, although there'll be a lot of injury time. Oh, and there's a free kick taken by, was it by Pugh? And it is polaxed the referee. Absolutely polaxed him, hit him right on the head. He will need. Blow, that, is. that was. It was from. It was from the centre spot, and the referee was only three or four yards away. Williams, I think he took it right on the nose. He is holding his nose, and uh, I think you're quite right. Oh, fantastic! Oh. Now, I have seen this man before. So there's a. Uh, he won't mind me just saying this, he's, he's not a youngster anymore. I believe he's over 70 years old. And here Baker, and away comes uh, Curran, 25 yards from goal. He might try a shot, probably wishes he hadn't as that trickles by the left hand upright. Huffy and Mack have a chance to break as he's got Lee outside him. And there's a foul, a, a, a professional foul by Baker, who will be booked, went straight through the back of Duffy who was just about to set uh, Lee in down the left hand side and that was it was a good run actually by uh, uh, but, but, but by Maynard in the middle he dragged the fullback Cummings into the penalty spot area left this huge channel for Lee who was motoring so it's all a bit half-hearted this forward goes Brandon Lee storming forward now it's Mack have got four four against one surely they can score but the one sh shoots and Thompson makes a good save. We're now beginning to wait for the whistle as Curran actually picks the ball up in, mid, in midfield, can go forward, put it forward to Maynard. Can Maynard beat his man? No, an excellent challenge by Priestley, getting a foot in. Uh, hurt himself in the tackle to receive it, although Mack have got a lot of people in the box. They will be complaining, and in fact, the ball is chipped into the box. It's behind most people. Bunny gets a header, and it's into the roof of the net. Couldn't really get any pace on it. Neil Bunny.
Stephen Newsom. Love from your family.